Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. It, look, it's been a massive weekend. Uh, here we are, Monday morning, 9 a.m. Time to go and grab the sales that came through over the last couple of days. And if we pull the table up for you to give you a look at the numbers, $1,312 has come through and totaling up 29 sales. Take out the fees, the postage, and the cost of goods. We have made $606 in just this weekend alone. So some really cool numbers there, pretty much on average. I'm not really spiking for the month of November. I think that's due to the fact that I'm just selling pre-owned goods. But let's dive into the first category. We'll show you a few of the items that went on to sell this weekend. First category is gonna be the DVDs. So we had a total of four sales in the DVD category come through. The first one that I've got for you is every Friday, the complete collection. Bit of Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. That one sold for $10, but uh, a really quick sell-through rate on that one there. Stick It, um, that one sold for $16. So an $11.50 sale price after some tracked postage. And then we've got Pat Mercedes, the University of Success. I wish I got some time to watch this. We've got Big Business Curriculum, Millionaire Motivation Sales and Leadership Curriculum. So that would have been a great watch, but it has gone on to sell for 36 bucks. And uh, we've also got this one here, Sean McAuliffe, the McAuliffe Program. Um, anything from this guy in the DVD category just seems to do really well on eBay. So I was able to get a $45 sale price for the McAuliffe program. So a total revenue there of $107 in just four DVD sales. I do think it's just a really great category to be focusing on. Now, as a full-time reseller, something I'm placing a large focus on right throughout the year is the video game category, the consoles, pretty much anything related to video games. And we've had some really good sales come through this weekend, obviously leading into the Christmas time. No wonder there's a few coming in. So the first one I've got for you here is Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Now, this one's gone on to sell for $33.25. You might see there, there's a little USA copy marking and they can actually still be played on Australian copy Game Boys. So you can modify them to play any form of game and that will be the case for the purchaser here. So don't be afraid to pick up the US copies, basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, this one here as well, we've got the PlayStation 2, no, PlayStation 3 microphone uh, with SingStar. We've got the dongle and two microphones. They're in, in their plastic bags here as well. So really great condition, always handy having the box as well. Um, I bought this in a Facebook Marketplace bundle with a whole heap of games, consoles, microphones, accessories. Um, I paid 150. This one lone item has gone on to sell for $65. So it's only gonna be a matter of time before I make a hell of a lot of profit on that Facebook Marketplace pickup. I think that's a really great space to be buying your video games and your consoles is off Facebook Marketplace. So that was a good one there. This was an off shop purchase. So I've spent 40 bucks on this, so I paid up for a little bit. Um, and it's a, uh, an Xbox 360 console. It's the controller and all of the cables. Now, this one's gone on to sell for $100. So a pretty good sale price there, I think, considering there's no games associated. I've got so many different consoles, as you can see there, and all of the games that I have for the Xbox 360 were tied up in other bundles. So therefore, I thought I'd just test the waters, list up a console with a controller, see if it moved, and we're able to get 100 bucks for it. So collectively, those three sales, totaling up $200 in sales, a really, really good category to be focusing on, especially at this time of year. All right, let's dive into my favorite category now, the shoes. And I'm pleased to report we've had a total of nine sales come through. You're looking at $455 in net revenue here. I'm buying each of these shoes on average for about 10 bucks. And on average, they're selling for about 50 bucks. That's my blueprint. And it is certainly paying off for me here. So I've got these in order of uh, price points that they sold for. So we'll kick things off here with the Adidas footy boots. These were just sitting around for a fair while. They're in excellent condition. They're more of an entry-level footy boot. Um, they sold for 30 bucks. So I probably think they're more worth about 40 to 45, but due to the fact that they were sitting, just moved them out the door. These ones as well, these are a pair of brand new, the brand is Padders, as you can see there, and Padders is a UK brand. So um, a brand new pair of shoes, I only got $37.50 on these, and uh, I thought that was really quite low. But again, they just sat around for quite a while, so I'm happy to just get some money back and go again. Uh, these ones here, these are a pair of Subo, or I'm not 100% sure, I've never seen, there it is there, Subo. Um, these shoes have sold for 40 bucks. Now, they're a pair of diving shoes, so I was just intrigued by the brand, hadn't bought it before, I thought I'd just give it a go, and it sold within the space of about two months there, so not, not the worst. Uh, these ones here, a really good brand to be looking for is Salomon. Um, so these shoes here have gone on to sell for 42.50, I think, from memory. Um, again, just sat around for a little bit. So I'm happy to clear these out for 42.50. I only paid $5 for these in an op shop. So a really great conversion there. Um, awesome pair of shoes here. I did pay up for them, the Campus, uh, the Adidas Campus. 
uh, a $15 purchase price on these things, but they ended up selling for $45. I believe it was $45. So um, you can generally try and get about 50 bucks on those. Took a best offer at 45 to get the job done. Um, I'm buying a lot more of these. You can see here, we've got the memory foam sketches and uh, these have sold really quickly for $50. So Sketches, a very good brand. Make sure you're looking out for that. Uh, a pair of brand new staple Nike shoes here, $65 there in excellent condition. I only bought these on Thursday in a trip to the thrift. These are the Air Max uh, 270s. Um, so they ended up selling for $70. Again, excellent condition. Probably could have got a few more bucks for them, but really took a, a, a fast best offer. And then these were the best ones that I was able to sell over the weekend. We've got the Brooks Beast 20s. Um, they ended up selling, again, really good condition. They ended up selling for 75 bucks. So all in all, guys, there we go. Nine pairs of shoes selling for a total of $455. And I would have only paid 90 bucks to get my hands on them. Now, as for clothing, we've had three sales come through in the tops that I wanted to take you through. Uh, the first one here is a really cool double print Ed Hardy t-shirt. I picked this one up at an op shop. I uh, only paid the $8. I actually found three of these and they're all selling internationally. They're all off to the USA. So um, this one here, I believe I got a $35 sale price plus $25 worth of international postage. It's probably only gonna cost me about 20 bucks, I think, to ship it off. Um, so it's gonna make it about a $40 sale price. So I'm probably gonna profit about $25. Ed Hardy, you guys will know that that's a good brand to be looking out for. The other one as well that you might not know about is um, Thrills. So Thrills Company, here it is here. It's a Byron Bay based brand. And uh, I've got the Thrills Company on the back there as well. So this is a really sweet tea, size medium, excellent condition. I bought this thing on Friday for $8 in an op shop and it's already sold for $32.50. So take out some postage, a $25 sale price on this t-shirt within the space of just a few hours on eBay. So it's only gonna be about a 10 to $15 profit, but still just a good brand for you guys to be finding if you want that really fast sale on eBay. Um, so that was good. And then the other one was one that hang around a little bit, but we did find a number of these. You might remember the old Palmeiras Brazilian soccer club gear. I bought a stack of this in an op shop maybe four or five months ago now. This was the last item remaining. It was a lot of jerseys initially that I'd bought. Um, this hoodie just, or not hoodie, but just sweater or jumper, zip up, um, hung around for a while. So I took a best offer on this for 30 bucks. And I think I bought it for $10. So I'm almost making about four or five bucks in profit. But again, I'm trying to just clean out old stock and accept best offers on those that are sitting around. A bit like the shoes that we were talking about earlier. So still to get this one done for 30, you could probably hang around and wait for 40, but I was just happy to get my money. Now, what was really interesting to see was the fact that in the pants category, I actually had all my shorts selling. So the jeans weren't necessarily moving. It was more so shorts. I think that's obviously coming into summertime here in Australia. So bread and butter items, very basic sales here, but I do just want to take you through to show you the brands that are selling more so than the actual item themselves. Um, so Ralph Lauren, it's a staple. It's a bread and butter. I'm always picking it up in the short category. That one was a really quick $22. I'm not making a lot on it. I would have paid about $5 in the thrift for it. Um, we've got these ones here as well. Really good brand to be finding, guys. Dries a bone. You can generally get some pretty good money for dries a bone in any form of category. Um, there it is there. So that one actually has gone on to sell for just the $26. Um, I took a really, really decent best offer on that one, 26. I had to list it up for about 35. So um, they got a good result there with those. Uh, another pair of just staple um, navy blue Ralph Lauren shorts there, $27.50 for those ones there. Oakley, I don't mind picking up Oakley. I see it every now and again. These were a really nice pair in great condition. They sold for $30 in a pretty quick space of time as well. So that was cool. And then the last one was a pair of cycling shorts. Now I love to buy anything in the cycling category. Um, these were, this was a brand that I hadn't heard of before. It was Azumi. There it is there, Azumi. And these were just a pair of men's cycling shorts, plain black. Um, they ended up selling for 40 bucks, which I thought was great because cycling gear, you're always pretty, you know, you get a good ASP. So um, that was that for the pants category or the shorts, I should say. Uh, we had five sales there coming through. And then just a couple of misc items to round out the uh, 28 that have sold over the weekend. Uh, we've got TaylorMade here, this golfing hat, Adidas, TaylorMade. I love finding anything in the golf category. Um, that one sold for $27.50. I'll put it into a small box, something similar to that, put it in to protect the brim, uh, and that'll be completely fine. Um, this one here, Bondi Road, this one came in a consignment bundle. I won't show you any of the pages. It's a little bit R-rated, but um, this one here, it ended up selling for $80. Some of these books can be worth quite a bit of money if you do your comp researching when you're out in your op shops. Um, so to get 80 bucks on that, I thought that was absolute madness to be fair. I think you could actually hang around and get 100 for it. That's how good that one is. 
Um, we've got this one here as well. We've got the logo board game. This is a super quick selling item if you can ever find it. I actually just found the second edition in a flea market run just yesterday, if you caught that video, but this one was bought just on Friday of last week. So the sell through rate, incredibly fast. I got a $38 sale price and I only bought it for $6. I've ripped the tag off there, but six bucks is what I bought that for. So that was just incredible. And then the last one, I've had this hanging around the house for about a year and a half. I think this was the first thing I ever bought in an op shop and it's finally sold for $16.95. We've just got an old school record here um, and it did sell internationally as well. So I'll put some cardboard on either side, give it some bubble wrap and send that one off internationally. So four kind of unique sort of MISC type sales there to round out what has been a pretty decent weekend. Guys, I have just got to the post office. Um, I was able to get 26 of the 28 items posted up and ready to be shipped away, but there were just two concerns. And the first one was around the Xbox 360 console. Um, I don't have a box that's suitable enough, so I'm gonna jump into Bunnings and just find the right size, and I'll probably just have to ship that one off tomorrow. The other one as well was the, uh, the Nike, the 270s, the US size 12. They actually don't have an insole, uh, and I didn't stipulate that in the listing. So I'm gonna show you what I do for insoles that are missing. If you need to actually go and buy them, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's get into that and then we'll go to the post office. All right. So a couple of things there, um, obviously it's a $10 cost for the inserts and that's just 10 bucks straight off your profit when you're buying these. So you don't necessarily always want to be buying them, but you can actually cut them to size. There's a size guide there and you just use the scissors and you cut them into whatever size insole you need. So a really convenient way to do it if you're you know, pressed to find them in a really quick space of time, just go to the shops and spend the 10 bucks. But like I said, just try and you know swap over another pair of shoes that you might have lying around the house uh, or just stipulate in the list that you don't have an insole, which is what I should have done. Um, the other one as well is this box is perfect, but as you can see there, it's got flammable liquid. You can't ship that with Australia Post when it's got that label, they won't allow it. So just make sure if you are buying a box like this, either cut it down to size as I probably will with this one here, where that will probably be cut off so much so that you don't see it, or just put some white labeling on it. So it, basically it just covers it up so they don't know that it's a, a previously a flammable liquid block uh, box, I should say. Um, all right, so there we go. So we're set now. I can go and get those last two ones done, but it'll probably be tomorrow that I'll end up doing it. Um, let's get off to the gym and then uh, we might jump into the thrift, see what we can find. Well guys, $1,300 in eBay sales. We've got a bit of money to spend in the thrift. And the first item that I've been able to find are the Asics Gel Nimbus 19s. These are a fantastic pair of shoes to be finding in the thrift. I think I should be able to get the top dollar because as you'll see, the soles are in pretty good condition. So I've got no concern there. Should be a really great result. Got these as well. These are the Nike Zoom Trains. It was the condition that really interested me the most. Obviously the Nike brand is a good one. $12 worth of a purchase price. I'm not too concerned about the low comps there. We've got the Asics DSX Fly Knits here. Sorry, the Nikes, what am I saying? These are an awesome pair of shoes. I pick these Metcons up all the time. A $12 purchase should be about an $80 sale price. And then have a look at this. We've got Nike running shorts in abundance. I'm talking 15 pairs, all Nike branded, and they all had an $8 price point. Very curious to get your thoughts if you'd go ahead and make the commitment on what was 15 pairs of running shorts there. eBay, we're talking about $30 free postage, maybe even a bit less actually, probably more like 25. These you're gonna get about $32.50 free postage for. The brand is Rhythm. I really want you guys to be looking out for the brand when you're in the thrift next, because it goes really well. All of these were a size 34 waist, which completely serves me for the summertime, considering I'm a 34 waist as well. So I might be wearing a few of these before I go ahead and sell them. But uh, I'm gonna take all of these guys. There were actually six in total that I've ended up taking, and there was an $8 price point on each one. A few other goodies as well. We've got the Wilson Tennis T-shirt here, just coming into the Australian Open over the next couple of months. So that is a really timely purchase for just the $5. I've got the full set here. We've got the shorts as well. Um, I think I've paid just the $7 for these shorts. There it is there, seven bucks. 
That was a size medium, plain black. Uh, Wilson is such a great tennis brand. I have no doubt they'll sell quick. And here's another really good brand to look out for, Deus Ex Machina. We've got an $8 purchase price here. When I'm buying the board shorts, a lot like those rhythm shorts, I'm always looking for really cool patterns. And all of these board shorts today had great patterns. Here's a great brand to be looking out for, guys, as well. For just the $4, how did the op shop ladies miss this one? We've got Lululemon in a size medium here as well. So a very clean, crispy pair. Nothing wrong with those. They should go into about $35, I dare say, as well. So look, I've left the Nike shorts alone, but geez, I've been able to pick up a fair number of items here. 13 items, in fact, and I've spent a total cost of $109. So that was just a great result. Well, guys, sometimes it only takes one op shop to change the game. 13 items there, and really, it could have been 28 if I bought the 15 pairs of Nike shorts, but I just don't think there's enough money in there. Probably 25 free postage, buying it at eight. It's a lot of work to only make about $6 or $7 worth of profit. So, um, Rhythm, I'll make a few more dollars, maybe $12 profit on those, so that was kind of cool. Um, but to get 13 items out of one store, I was in there for about maybe 15 minutes. So, you know, you never know. I mean, I think it's a really important thing to realize do what works for you when it comes to sourcing. If you, if you find that your op shops locally can really house you some really great items, just keep going back to the op shops. If you feel you need to go down a wholesale approach, then go down a wholesale. Everyone is different. Everyone's business model is different. But fortunately here on the Gold Coast for me, I don't need to worry about anything other than going into my local op shops. There is plenty of stuff out there. You've just got to be showing up and making sure you're getting out there each and every time. So um, I'm going to get back home, list them all up. And um, I do actually have one more thing, one really cute thing to show you. Actually, it's a really cute thing. I'll, I'll see you back at home. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. What are you wearing? You got your Santa suit on. Oh, you gorgeous. You little cutie. Hey. You're showing off, are you? What a gorgeous girl. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. I couldn't finish the video without showing you that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Trip to the thrift on Thursday. Look forward to catching you then. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and I will catch you on Thursday. See you guys.